Hey guys, check this out. This is this is right here. It's a C2 Carrera. That's electric, and it shifts. It has a five-speed transmission in it. Jeremy here. Yeah. How? How did you do that? Well, we have the, the clutch, and everything is kept. And I've never. I didn't even know you could do it. I thought it was on or off, do, right? I mean, all you do is the vehicle control unit is you map through the gears. So there's no stalling out, obviously. Correct. Okay. But there, that you map through the gears. Um, a simulation close to what the internal combustion engine has as horsepower and torque through each gear. Okay. You limit the revs to six and a half thousand, because this will do twelve thousand. Wow. So you limit it to six and a half thousand. Because you get one hundred percent of your torque one RPM onwards. It right. doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm at a stoplight. I ha I don't have to keep my foot on the clutch, right? Well, I mean, you know, it's an electric motor. It, it, There's no stalling, right? Exactly. So I'm at a stoplight. Do I have to engage the clutch the entire time, or well, just no, keep it in neutral? Standing. Yeah. Okay, and then I go, I go, I put the foot in my clutch, let off, just like it, and then from there it's just shifting and yeah. zero to six, zero to six, zero to six RPMs. Interesting. So because theoretically you're right, you could just put fifth gear. Well, that exactly. Just but it's a simulation of it. You're simulating it with the vehicle control unit. That's well, neat. So, Does it drive good? Is it fun? Is it fun? We have only very low speed oh. mileage on it because it was finished on Thursday. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this However, is all emerging very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's a typical SEMA build. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's just yeah. everything last moment. Yeah, they say um, never buy a SEMA build, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so well, this and is the great. Idea is 250 mile range on what uh, what battery pack? 73 kilowatt hours. Well, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so it adds to the weight. 400 volts. 400 volts. Wow. So you can do fast charging? 400 volts? No. no. We've you could. But we haven't set it up that way. We have an okay. onboard charger, 6.6 .6 kilowatt, which uh, you know is your overnight charging on a 240 volt. Got it. Yeah. Interesting. You could add supercharge capabilities later, but for these classic cars, they're not going to be driving them across country. 250 mile range. Right. Is normally enough for you know. So on who's, a who's the target demo? Because, well, you know, typically you buy a Porsche for the motor. You buy it for the flat six, yeah. right? Well, let me so. go. With an internal combustion engine from this car this year, you can't drive that in the center of London. Ah. So it's, it's been outlawed. Really? It doesn't have a catalytic converter. And one of the dirty little secrets that everyone keeps quiet about is that all of these cars, pre-catalytic converters, are on average 20 times more polluting than a modern internal combustion engine vehicle today. So, how long is it going to be with all of this legislation coming up before that gets flagged as well? It's probably sooner than any of us can imagine. <laughs> So, running is not a bad idea. Right. And our system is such that it's modular. So this is all your batteries here? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So now you have to get the whole car though. But you managed to keep the interior. Where do you put it all? I mean, where do you put That's the, the front one? Okay. The pack one here. here. And then you have them here. Look. They package in. One up top, one each side, and here's the lower one. Oh my god, right you there. even got like the flat six looking engine too. That's really neat. Wow. That's something. That's really something. Well, and we we thought we were being smart. When we said we'll start with the Porsche 911 because it's the most difficult to package, because it's the smallest. Sure. And then everything else will be easy after that. <laughs> Easier, yeah. So, because it was, and this was our mistake, because it's so difficult to package, we had to end up making Porsche-specific 
the battery modules, which we're not going to put in the other cars because we're just doing four of these. Right. And the reason we do four of these is because it has the optimal 3S 4P, straight series, four parallel, battery module layout. So you can use one battery management system, you daisy chain these four, right. and you can control them with one system. Wow. And that's, that's the okay. reason for doing it. Okay, elephant in the room, what does it cost? 60 grand. 60 grand? Mm -hmm. What about warranty and support? 12 months warranty. Okay. Tech support, of course. It's about the price it costs to rebuild, to rebuild a motor. Yeah, well, a little, a little bit more, but you know, on no, par. No, no. Not, we're not talking performance parts, just yeah, rebuild. Uh, trust me, I, <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, interesting. Hopefully, so. Interesting, okay. Um, what's, what's the build time if I wanted to order one today? And well, we, are, we want to go into, first of all, this is obviously a prototype. prototype um, the, okay. the thing we do, this whole thing weighs just under a thousand pounds. Okay. Um, and the reason why we can keep it as light as that is that all of the battery packs which we make ourselves right. are made out of a combination of glass fiber, carbon fiber, and Kevlar, which gives you torsional strength, um, impact resistance in case of an accident, right. um, and obviously it's not steel, so it saves a lot of weight. The subframes we make, which are application specific, mm -hmm. logically, um, they're made of carbon fiber in a facility in Washington. Okay. And so we eliminate about 250 pounds of steel, which would otherwise be used to make the system. Sure. So, yeah. So, there's a lot so, of costs there too. So, the build time though, from me sending, I have to send the car to you, right? No, no, we don't build cars. You buy a great engine Seriously? system from us. The customer puts this in? No, the customer's the workshop put it in. Ah. So are there approved workshops coming? Or, um, like I live in Nashville, like where would I go? Yeah, to? I mean, you know, if you're a Porsche guy, you would I am a Porsche to, guy. Then you go to your local Porsche shop and say, I want you to do this. Dealer? Or just my local no, special, tech. Special. Okay. I mean, a dealer, a dealer. I mean, there are a couple of good Porsche yeah. techs, gold certified, etc., in my area, yeah, but, but they yeah. don't know about this yet. So I mean, uh, I mean not I that have, I know. Uh, I don't know if you know Turbocraft in Arizona. I've heard of them. I mean, uh, they they built my engine on my turbo, which was 120 grand, not 60. Right. So this, is, this is still a bad. Yeah. Um, He's really interested. He, he said, well, he'll do them all day. All right. So how much power, 60 grand, is this making? Torque. Uh, 73 kilowatt. 73 kilowatt hours battery. 250 mile of, range. Got of, it. Of energy. This is rated. The electric motor is rated at 225 kilowatts peak power. Okay. And 500 newton meters peak power. Okay. Which equates to, if you will put it there, about, about 300 horsepower. The reason it's not a direct. So more than factory. Yeah. yeah. It's not a direct. And uh, torque is. Uh, 500 you say? 500 newton meters. Wow. So, but it doesn't matter. That's the unit. And we use that same unit in all of the applications. Got we it. use the same battery boxes. Everything is the same. Everything is modular. Right. Only the subframes for, for mounting and putting in vehicle position, they're unique to the application. So this is like almost plug and play with the existing right. transmission. Yeah. Well, they come. It's unbelievable. The kit will come. All the connections made where possible, high voltage connectors, everything will be connected. It will be bench tested. Wow. It will have already run. And it will come with half charge batteries because that's the safest way to ship lithium ion batteries. I'm at 50% charge. And basically, a workshop should be able to put this in in two to three days. Provided he has prepared the car yeah. prior to it. He had to get all the engine out, everything, gas, gas tank, tank all of it. Yeah. This firing. Just, this, you don't, there's no cutting, no drilling, no welding. This, this one here, you take it on the forklift, put it under the rear, you drop the car down on it, you put this bridge on it, bolt it together, put that then in because that you can't fit on top beforehand and then put it into the engine. 
And this it still just uses factory gauges and everything? It comes with two factory gauge. It comes with two gauges which look factory. They're in the car right now, but they have the take a look. They have the um, electrical function monitoring in them instead of oil pressure, sure. and water temperature, which yeah. you don't need. Right. So that's. So all you're not doing TFT displays or anything like that yet. Well, we do have. We, we, show it in there but most people will actually well, they want the hide it look. Yeah, in yeah. the in the in the glove box oh, yeah. where you can well, have the fun right and like you, you can monitor the whole system and all of that but yeah. you don't need to because once we calibrate it we lock it down so that no one can play with it so you get you get the horsepower simulating the curves and everything and it'll be a nice driving experience a little right. bit more torque slow down but so you get a 6500 rpm and then it's closed right because if we warranty it we can't let you just yeah go wild with it sure. oh you know let's oh, we'll crank it up to 700 newton. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, exactly. yeah. And thank you yeah. then oh then the batteries are in terminal meltdown or, yep, yep. or whatever oh, I know. Really, I've, yeah. I've taken my test on the track before it hates yeah. it yep <laughs> it's not built for it so can we look at these gauges real quick can i uh, come in here sir so you still have the factory gauges there's your screen down there wow I mean, I mean, you wouldn't really even know that this is an electric vehicle. It's pretty unbelievable. Hope you found that interesting, guys, over here at SEMA 2022. And uh, yeah, I'm a huge Porsche fan, as you guys know. I've probably done more Porsche reviews than anything, so this was really interesting to me. So hope you enjoyed that.